Okay guys, um, I wanted to show you how to install SSL for your uh, cPanel application. So currently I've already done it as you can see. It's here, it's, it's, it's uh, secure but before it was not. So I wanted to show you the process I tried. So the first thing I tried was to install a SAT bot uh, that's from um, uh, let me start they generally you should use let's encrypt that's a very good um, application that you can use um, the, it's a non-profit that usually generates um, free certificates for you so if you look at their documentation um, they will show you how to install it there are very many ways of installing uh, your application if you have access to um, your server you can uh, download you can ssh into your server and then uh, you'll follow the instructions there um, you know maybe i can show in another video how to do that but for now i'm going to show how to use um, how to install a free ssl certificate on cpanel when you don't have access to um, um the the when you don't have ssh access and cpanel then doesn't allow you to use auto ssl which is really simple way of um setting it up and renewing it so first of the first thing you're going to do is you log in you log in here like so um, assuming you have access and then uh, so here um let me see here ssl tls that is where we are going to install the application, the, the certificate. And then you just scroll down here, you, where it says install and manage SSL. You click here. Um, so this is where we're going to install it. As you can see, it's already installed, right? So how did I install this one? So I go to a site called um, free, uh, SSL for free. Okay, SSL for free this one SSL for free so this one is the one I, I, I used and it really worked and I think also zero SSL works but I use SSL for free in this example so I just put my domain here then I said create a cell for me and then I logged in um, so you, you know you will you will um, be able to uh, create an account and then log in and then it's a very simple process um, the next thing you do it will tell you like um, you create a new certificate so that's the first thing that will come because actually it looks like this when you log in so you're going to put in your domain name because I've already done it I'm going to put for example um, let's say a subdomain for let's just give let's assume I have a new domain um uh great stuff dot ai let's see next step we choose the 90 day certificate so since you want to do free setup remember if you're doing a free thing um one of the things uh, if you don't have access to uh your cpanel doesn't have auto ssl which will auto renew for you and you don't have access to ss to you don't have a vps where you can log in and as ssh and and you don't even have root access even even if you have um even if you have ssh access you don't have root access so that will be a disadvantage so this option because you don't have root access and you can't do some certain stuff which i'll talk about You'll have to do um, 90 day certificates. So let's, um, um, you have to do 90 days, and you'll have to renew manually every 90 days. Uh, but if you have a root access, it's a different process. So let's continue. You say 90 day. Uh, don't choose any of this because, um, you know, this one will just. Uh, probably they'll charge you so I don't care about that one click this one leave it like that next uh, selected we just do the zero dollar per month you're not paying anything uh, go to next steps 
Um, let's see, let's see, next steps. Yes. Your, cre your certificate has been created and is ready. Uh, but you need to verify ownership. So, if you have email access, good and well, use this step. Uh, if you have access to, um, um, what's it called? If you have access to your DNS, maybe your DNS is on Cloudflare or whatever, you follow this instruction to set up a TXT record uh, on your C name. You just set it up. Uh, you just go to your DNS dashboard and then you add a C name record and then you put this stuff. So for us, it will be an HTTP file upload. So you download this file. If you download this file, um, I'm going to go to cPanel for my uh, log for my application. Let's come here. Let me put. Let me log into cPanel. Uh, I go to File Manager. Um, you see, this is my account. So I go to Public HTML. I go to well known, so you create a folder known as dot well known, and then you create a folder called PKI validation. So see here, it says well known PKI validation, and then you download this file. If you once you download it, this TXT file will come. It, it's just one single file. If you see here on my downloads, yes, there's this file here this txt file it's just a text file the same as this one so you download it and then you come to cpanel you upload it here so i up I uploaded mine so this is for my domain you upload it here so that when you click on this link you'll get something but you see here i won't get anything because of course it doesn't exist but if i click on my for example uh, if i click on my website and then i go to this path pk validation slash this 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 it will it will work so if i go to huh, you see it's this one you see this is what it comes simple and then um once that is done you click next it will it will check it will verify check if that thing uh verified to me will check if you have it so of course i don't have it so um now th because i don't have it that becomes an issue but um the next step they're going to uh, once it verifies it's going to tell you to download another uh, folder another zip file uh it's called uh, let me show you uh it's called it it will just name it after your domain and then dot zip file and then what's going to be in that folder is going to be um uh, it's going to be this it's going to be in the if you unzip the file you're going to find a ca bundle certificate and a private key right now you come back to your c panel you go to ssl here less you you come to manage ssl hosts you choose your domain um once you choose your domain uh you click the certificate here so here you put the um, since you have multiple certificate uh, you have um, certificate you put the certificate private key you copy this private key and certificate of CA bundle you use this one so what you do is you open it using a text editor you can go to the command line and open that with the command line or uh, if you use um, uh, let's see for example let me use where is vs code visual studio code use that one see that's how it looks it's just a text file um, use that one copy this file Come here, copy it here. So you do that for each and every one of them, and then you click install certificate. And then it will it will work. Once you've done that, you'll have a shiny setup. Thank you.